time for a challenge. Puzzle friends and welcome back. I am Ingrid and this is Ingrid Loves Puzzle and for today I just want to try the 3 in 1 challenge that was made by uh, Sandra from um, Puzzling Canadian. Let me take my notes here. Okay and yeah I saw all the video so she made the collaboration with uh, four others uh, YouTube uh, channels. Um, Dan from Puzzle File, Sue from Sue Burgundy Puzzle, Emilia from Puzzle with Emilia, and Cat from P Puzzle Cat, who actually did two videos of this uh, three in one challenge. And the fun thing about this challenge is that it's not a speed challenging one, so it's a relaxing one. And Puzzles are mostly relaxing and I really enjoy from time to time to just take my time and do a puzzle just for fun, even if it takes longer. Um, so, I just wanted to pick a puzzle that is not hard, that I love, and um, do the challenge. So, how will this... Um, how is this uh, challenge? So, Sandra created a 3x3 grid and in each uh, of the boxes, uh, I will put it here, the image. Each of the boxes, it's a um, puzzle um, requirement, let's say. And you need to pick a line, even if it's vertical or horizontal or diagonally. And you should pick a puzzle from your collection that uh, has all that three requirements from the line so well if you watch all the videos you can see that Dan stated that he is very curious to see if uh, someone uh, can actually do all nine of them because are, these uh, are nine squares and I think I have a puzzle that has all those nine requirements, but I'm not sure. So one of the requirements that you need to achieve, it's uh, uh, the one in that um, left bottom corner that said you need to have a puzzle that uh, is from a brand that you haven't tried yet, or from an artist that you haven't tried. So I have a puzzle from Ridley's Games, which I didn't try the brand yet, and I'm very curious to see how it feels, look, and all that things, and try it actually. So I just picked that, and I need to show you. So it's the inspirational woman puzzle, and I'm pretty sure I must. Uh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Yeah, and I am pretty sure that I can find all nine requirements in it. I already have one because I didn't do a Ridley's puzzle uh, uh, yet. So, without further words, <laughs> let's just go do puzzles because we love puzzles. Happy puzzling everyone! Let's see how this will work. Okay, so cutting those stickers was a lot harder than I was expecting. Let's open this. It's my first tube, cylindric box. Okay, and it's hard. Uh oh, we did it. Okay. I 
and the box is empty. We have a poster. Yes, we do. Just a minute. So, it's a, a round puzzle. And that's how it should look at the end. Now let's open the pieces and see them. Just move. Cute little sticker on here as well. The image looks nice and I think I will have fun with this one, but I am a little bit concerned because the those are um well normal edge pieces and I was expecting at a round puzzle so that's strange but we'll see how it goes so let's now dump all the pieces here and start turning them over I guess okay so I just found those these pieces like these are pieces from circle puzzle that's how the pieces look on a circle puzzle and that's strange because I also have normal pieces so I guess that this puzzle will be a combination of them maybe but we'll have round pieces as well so a round part it will definitely be here Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, so before we continue, let's talk a little about the strategy. So, I am guessing that this uh, puzzle will be easy. And I am just doing it because it's very relaxing. And the 3 in 1 challenge is a relaxing one, not a speed one. And... Yeah, so my strategy is to also take or start with all the pieces that have red because it for sure will be here, the background red. Then we have pink and purple and um, this is blue. That's a mix between blue and green green then we have uh, yellow and um, oh, i just forgot the name orange okay so after doing this uh, with all the colors that i find i think i can complete all the characters name because it will be easier not sure about it and i'm definitely sure this one will be easy to spot and put together and after that, we'll have uh, the um, edges, which at this point, I'm not sure if it's round or not, because I'm, as you can saw, as you saw the pieces, they are strange. 
And after that, completing the character, I guess. That's why my plan now, and I didn't start it yet with the PCs. We'll see how it goes, if I can stick to it. So, happy puzzling everyone! See you at the end! Okay, so since this, those pieces are actually, well, all over the place, I think I'll grab a box from another puzzle and just dump them in the box and just pick the pieces that I want from the box. So, let's puzzle at least. So actually I didn't stick to my initial plan, like I didn't grab any box for the pieces, I just turned them with the face up on the table, I have a little space left, but I managed to stick a little for my original plan of how I will start the puzzle. So I got the red ones here with the pinks because when you get all the reds out of that bunch of pieces the um pink ones actually look as reds so the difference is not uh big but you can see if they are um, one next to each other if you see this pink one here, you may think it's red. Okay? And as, as I said, the pieces from here should be very easy to spot. So, I have them right here. And we can actually make our first match. Let's see. Just want to be sure about it oh here it is that's awesome let's continue So it seems I don't have all the pieces. I'm missing this one. But I wasn't expecting to have them all at the first. Okay, so what I noticed is that they don't lock together well. So if I try to lift it, it will break apart. So I need to keep this in mind if I want to actually move pieces or slide them. It will be hard. But we just make our, our first pieces together and it looks amazing. And the Funny thing is that this, this one is a circle, so we start with the circle and we'll see where we'll go. So, now, let's puzzle.
couple of days this I didn't work on the puzzle because I was very busy and I'm a little upset about it because I really enjoyed the progress and the puzzle and the pieces the quality is really nice and yeah I just want to see it finish and well that's a miss feeling there because um, you know I really enjoy the process and I'm a little upset when it's done because you know it's done but I really love to see it finish so <laughs> that's a paradox right there okay so yeah there yeah, so it's been a couple of days I think four or maybe five but I really think that I will manage to finish it uh, today and um, we'll see and I I have a new puzzle accessory and I'm, I'm so excited about it and about it and I want to show you guys so I just got my pretty puzzle sorter trays <laughs> yeah and I can wait to open it and actually well put the pieces in it um I usually use the puzzle box and I didn't really need some such trays but they are beautiful and you know why not some things you just buy it and have it because they are beautiful and you love how it they look and so on so let's open this beauty and it's uh, in the plastic bag and continue to solve this beautiful puzzle i'm really excited because when we'll finish we need to check if it meets all the nine requirements and i'm pretty sure three of them are uh, you know 100 percent meet um but i really want to see if this one really meets all of them and i forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video that i saw the challenge i really want to do the video for a long time but um well, i didn't have time and i was uh, searching in my puzzle collection and um I couldn't find the puzzle that meet three of them like I want to do this puzzle because it's fun and when I look at it oh it only has two and one is from the other line it is not good and so on it was a process but and after all I saw this puzzle I saw that have a lot of females and all of them have something that are uh, famous for and it was like Okay, let's do this and see how it goes, if we can meet the requirements or not, because it will be fun, and yeah. So, that's me speaking a lot again, and yeah, let's continue to puzzle. Happy puzzling, everyone! <laughs> I just love this line, because I'm really happy when I'm puzzling, so yeah. Yay, so they are out of the box, and they look amazing, and the um, well the most beautiful part is that they are red and it's a very beautiful red and i'm in love with red it's my favorite color so why i have four of them so since if we look at the poster we already did this uh, yellow part this um, red and pink part and this um, well, uh, purple part, so we only have some uh, green, the blue parts, which I think I will sort those two together, and the edges here. And we need to sort them. Why do I have four? So, first of all, I will sort edges, then the blues, and then the in the third one the greens and i have a fourth 
um, sorter here because I want to put the pieces that I think it will go in the puzzle that arrived. it's already well assembled here in those parts because I still have missing pieces and if I spot one that I know it will go in that part of the puzzle I want to put it in the uh, other tray yeah but since I have almost a week since I last uh, do this um, work on this puzzle I don't think I'm able to remind to remember very well the textures and the ladies but we'll see so let's It's puzzle. Again, it's another beautiful day. Uh, actually, it's kind of rainy outside, and it's that kind of weather that you want to actually lay down in bed and um, take a nap. But I'm here, I'm up, and I will do puzzles because this one I managed to finish it yesterday as I wished. So, yeah, right, right, these games puzzles amazing okay it's not the best i'm having some issues with the pieces that don't stay in place like they i just put them down and they actually go up and some knobs are uh, up for than it should but you know it's a circle one maybe that's the issue i can judge the brand by one puzzle and not by a circle so i what they do 
any kind of puzzle. Um, I need to double check. Yeah, I need to double check <laughs> the brand actually. <laughs> because it was so amazing and a beautiful experience and a joyful experience to do the puzzle that I didn't actually care that much. Now that I like it, I want to, well, um, get some more information. But um, not the brand was the purpose of this video, but the 3-in-1 challenge. And it's a great challenge. It's my first challenge that doesn't um, include speed puzzling. And it's like, a, you know, like um, um, air. <laughs> like a little relax time, a little break of the speed puzzling. Yes. I am training, but we'll get there eventually. Like uh, it's only March until September. We have some months left. <laughs> I will get better. I know that. And yeah. Okay. Overall, I love it. I definitely will buy more puzzles from them and try them um the thing was that i really wanted to do a fun puzzle and not a hard one and this was exactly perfect because you it's so much going on and it's kind of interesting you can misplace a piece like you will know exactly where that goes and from what it is so many textures it was just amazing and for the train one challenge now, well, the requirements, yeah. They said in the, when I started this video that I want to meet all the nine ones. Yeah, well, that will not be the case. So let's go from, um, I, so let's go from the start. So I picked this puzzle because it was a brand that I didn't uh, do, done before. I haven't done before. And that's why I picked it. So funny enough that the line that uh, is, um, let me double check, the diagonally and the one that is vertically starting for um, the requirement from the cassette um, from the grid point where this as a puzzle brand, a new puzzle brand is a requirement, the vertical line and the diagonal line, I've managed to achieve. And that's it. So, first of all, I am miss missing a mode of transportation. I don't have any of that. Here. Like, no, nope, nope, nope. I'm double checking just to be sure. Yeah, and I am missing a beverage. Okay, so a drink that's the most hard, the hardest requirement of them all. I don't know why, but I checked multiple puzzles in my collection and I, that I haven't done. And that beverage thing, it's not a go. I don't have it. That's pretty, pretty amazing because, well, I have some puzzles in my collection and I was expecting to actually find one that has this beverage, so no. I actually um, thought that... Um, Mercury was holding a glass of wine, <laughs> and that's not the case, <laughs> but it's funny. Uh, yeah, she was doing some chemistry, and I thought <laughs> she was drinking wine. And also, at um, saw it from I don't know, a much further, you will think that Helen Keller has a glass of wine, but it's a rose. So no beverage here. Okay, and uh, what I'm missing is um, has a door, house, 
car, barn. I don't have any door. I have a lot of tables. Tables? Tables, yes. But I don't have a door at all. So, that's it. And now what I have. So, I have the puzzle brand that is new. Uh, image has a pet. We'll go with this one, even if I don't complete the line. I have a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like Jane Goodall has a monkey. I don't know if I pronounce the name correctly. But she has a monkey and I think it's the only animal on this picture. I well I know you say that monkeys are not pets, but well some people for some people are like from some people snakes are pets, yeah, you know. And now, let's see, diagonally, let's go diagonally, my first line. Has one of my hobbies. Yes, it has. So, besides puzzling, I love reading. So, I have an author here, and I also um, found a lot of books. So, yeah, it has one of my um, hobbies, other than puzzling. And has the color red, that is very, like, we saw that. <laughs> we actually start with pieces that has the color red on it. And pink, but that's another discussion. Okay, now let's go vertically from the um, puzzle brand. More than one person in a mini image. Well, we have plenty of um, person in the image. I don't know if they actually... Yes, 54 persons in spiral icons. So we have a lot of people in this image and we have, uh, we see them very clearly. They're not tiny, tiny, tiny little details. And body of water, river, lake, ocean, where we don't have a lake, but we have a pool. So I guess that counts. And yes, I managed to have seven of nine and do two lines which is pretty awesome for a puzzle that i picked only for one requirement and i was hoping to miraculously you know find all of them or at least one line <laughs> yeah so if you like the video please consider to like it and uh, subscribe to support me and yeah if you have any questions please write me down in the comments below and until next time please stay safe and i wish you all happy puzzling